So uh, I forget this woman's name, the person with like the the white skin and the black tattoos. Um, she has she found the Franklin and is able to camouflage it with this interesting tech. How does this tech work? She's rigged up image refractors. They're like some sort of holographic camouflage. Hi, sir. So I don't I don't think refraction and holograms are the same thing. So, or, or they could be part of the same tech, but either Kirk is right or Scotty is right, but I don't think they're, they both can be right. Well, Kirk says there's, there's some type of refractors or hologram and Scotty is like, yep. Like he said, he, the, yeah. Kirk gave an or question and, and, <laughs> and Scotty's like, yes to the whole thing, which sounds like Scotty doesn't know what he's talking about. So he's just BSed it. Yep. Because uh, so if I look at it, they like per, the per, they project onto the ship. These projectors mm -hmm. project onto the ship. To me, that doesn't sound like a hologram. Because oh, it doesn't or is it? So to me, that sounds like yes, a hologram. But maybe we should walk it back and say what is refraction, so we can compare them. So I was thinking, like, in if you. You have, you have light coming from all directions towards the ship. Okay. Right. And you need the light to, if the ship wasn't there, the light from all directions would just continue on normally. Perfect. So if you have a refractor, the light would come in, go around the ship, and then come out the same way. And it would go from all directions. Right. Do that from all. So somehow you create up some sort of smart 3D refractor that makes all light continue on as if it was, as if the ship wasn't there. So oh. I think you have an advanced idea of refraction. So when I think of refraction, I think of like of air to water, yeah. and then you have light coming through and it gets bent. Or maybe yeah. you can think of it the other way. When I'm looking down on top of water and yeah. I reach my hand in, like the ball isn't where I thought it was or the fish isn't where I thought yeah. it was. It's actually a little bit shallower because the light coming from the, from, from the fish gets mm -hmm. bent. Get, there's a, here's the water. Light's mm -hmm. coming from the fish, gets bent, and then it breaks my eye over here. That's a single refraction event. Yeah. Uh, what I think what you've done there is you've you've put like a bunch of refraction events, so that when yeah. light's coming through, instead of getting bent once, it gets mm -hmm. it gets bent, 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 and so it's like a smooth, many yeah. refractions. If that's ref if that's what you mean by refraction, then yeah, I think this is it. It's refraction. Oh, but it could be it could be some kind of holographic projector where it like takes the image from all directions behind. Right. and then projects it forward somehow. And that's what makes more sense to me. Okay. Um, because I guess the, the key part of a hologram is that it's momentum conserved. And so and so that means it needs, so sorry, it's, yeah, momentum conserved is one way to say it. Another way to say it is, is depending on where you are standing, you see something that's appropriate from your perspective. How do I mm -hmm. say this? It's like, well, so like it's if you if you look at an object if you look at a photo you get no matter how you look at the photo like say this is I've got a piece of paper say this is the photo mm -hmm. i look at the photo at all the different angles i see a 2d image right it's a fixed perspective you, you're not seeing it from a different side yeah but if i have Whereas, like a 3d object like the remote and i change my angle right i see all the different angles so you see somehow, the object from the you see an object from the appropriate perspective from when you're standing Right. And so you're saying moment, I think momentum, let me fill in blanks here. Momentum conservation means of the light it needs to right. be like, when I look at different angles, the momentum of the light is correct for this particular object. Right. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the light as if it's coming directly from that object, not as if it had been bent from something else, which is what you would see if you're looking at a flat object it's i'm seeing the light coming off this thing and coming out of at a bent angle yeah whereas if i were to be on somewhere else i'd be seeing a different angle mm -hmm. so are we saying the image that the holograph holog holographic projectors emit is of the rocks behind right because otherwise if i was standing up here and i know this if, yeah, yeah so we're standing we're here we're, we're standing with the cameras yeah if the when when we look through where the ship is where uh, we, we should see a tree behind there. Right. So that means that the light from the tree is coming straight towards us. 
and yeah. and if there's nothing there it should hit its eye if there is something in there it needs to be bent around such that it still gets into our eye yeah. alternatively it needs to come from a projector that mm -hmm. knows where we are and knows where the trees are and then can send us the correct image yeah that sounds like a hologram sounds like a hologram so i think scotty says it's a refractor and then kirk says it's a hologram One, uh, I, I don't think they're both right, I but think I think right. we I think we broke it down. There's two potential technologies that could be at work. Um, I suspect S Scotty said the right answer because he's the engineer, and then Kirk said some stuff, and Scotty's like, guessing. Oh, yeah, 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 no yeah, 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 sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> like I, yeah, I've done this where I'm like, I don't want to explain this. Like, okay, yeah. it's what you think it is. That's fine. <laughs> like, we're, we're, we're moving on. We got stuff moving on. Yeah, actually, not important. It works. We're moving on. <laughs> that's right yeah we don't need to spend 45 minutes debating whether it's a hologram or refractor like it's working boss like let's let's go on and rescue our crew yeah. <laughs> that's right <laughs> also awesome that uh i don't remember her name she ca she has these sitting around i don't know where they came from yeah and they're well maintained even though they are exposed to rain that's right interesting i wonder if these things can update for what the rain erosion should be like on the floor I mean, it must. It must be some sort of dynamic something. Otherwise, like, it wouldn't pick otherwise, up the subtle changes. You would end up with a really nice clean patch underneath, right? No, and like, if the Franklin is on top of the the vegetation, then the vegetation yeah. isn't getting light, which means they're not growing. They're dead, yeah. which means from an overall like an aerial view, you'd have all these life and stuff, and a little a little circle <laughs> that's ship size with everything dead underneath. Oh yeah, yeah, that would not work. Plus, there's like erosion and all kinds of stuff that would change. It'd be look really odd. You're like, what the heck? Yeah, what the heck? If you looked. If you looked. Maybe people yeah. don't look that carefully. 